What is up guys, my name is Matt and I'm the owner and founder of Techbotic. Today I'm gonna to show you how to fix your loose micro USB cable that might be falling out or it's not charging properly. Luckily, it's a pretty easy fix that I'm gonna show you. Um, all you need is nail clippers, pliers, and a, I have a bread tie here, or like a thin piece of plastic. Ultimately, the problem stems from a cheaply made and poor designed cable head. Even our cables that are a better quality still have issues from time to time. So all these fixes that I'm gonna show you are from helping our own customers. So let me show you the three fixes right now. Let's get into the fixes. So I wanna show you guys first uh, on this micro USB cable, if you notice here, there's these two pins on the top. They might be kind of hard to see, but right on the top of the micro USB cable, there's these two prongs that stick up. So in the first fix, I'm going to show you how to pull those up with a pair of nail clippers that you hopefully have. And in just for comparison purposes, I have a mini USB cable here, which doesn't have it. And I actually find that mini USB cables stay in better though they are mini and not micro. So let me grab the nail clippers. And you'll want to try to grab onto these top pins and pull upwards for my shaky coffee hands. Well, let me and you don't want to pull too hard, you don't want to snap it, but you just want to pull them up and towards you, if you're sitting the same way I am. You'll notice they're a little bit more raised, you can give it a couple more. That looks a little bit better on that side. So now that we got it slightly more up, oh, that one needs a little bit more love. God damn it, coffee. Okay, that looks better. And you might already know this, but different ports are slightly different sizes. So here, I have an Xbox controller, and then I also have a PlayStation controller. I have found that the PlayStation controllers tend to have a tighter fit, so this problem isn't as rampant on the, uh, the PlayStation 4 controllers, but let's just plug it in and see how it is. That's a really firm fit in this one. Then we have our Xbox controller that tends to have a more wiggly connection even still after we fix that it has a slight wiggle but it's definitely better and then I have just a power brick to show you guys on here and that's a really secure connection as well and they tend to have uh, different lengths so it really varies from device to device how snug the connection will be if that doesn't work, I suggest getting a pair of pliers and you'll we'll take the connector head and you want to do this very gently and press in so that it expands. So let's see if I can show you guys. And you can see it's just expanding outwards making the connector head bigger which hopefully will make the connection more secure. still has a slight wiggle, but it's better. If for whatever reason that were not to work or you made it too big, you can always compress this way. Wow, my hands are shaky. <laughs> uh, you can compress in to make it flat. You'll just want to get between the two pins here and press in to make it smaller. Sometimes if the port is messed up, that can actually make, uh, be the fix for it. 
by making it smaller where the connector goes in. Then last but not least, this is more for phones or you know because you keep them in your pocket or purse. You will take something that is not metal. Um, I have a bread tie here. Even though it has metal inside of it, it is covered by paper. Make sure that the battery is out of whatever device or it is off. And you want something thin enough, about the same uh, width, or I mean thickness, as you see here on the port. So you can tell that this is really thin and it allows you to get in between and hopefully get the dust out. This isn't gonna have much dust as it just sits around indoors, but you know pockets are full of lint. And you'll just kinda wanna jiggle around and clean around the outside. Don't use too much force if you're using something a little bit tougher than an, a bread twist tie. Um, you can also use plastic packaging from um, a product that you may have around or uh, that's all I can think of, but you can clean out and if it's really dirty you'll get some lint that pops out and that should make the connection more secure. So hopefully one of those three fixes helps you guys out. I'm going to put a discount code at the bottom in the description and that will give you 15% off any cable for whatever reason these fixes don't work for you. So hopefully uh, I helped you out guys and I will catch you on the next one.